we're going to talk about this hair that I have and that I've recently purchased. And mainly, it's buns. Every time I wear one of my buns on my head, I get so many questions about where did you get it? Well, I have so many. I don't know where they came from. With the exception of maybe one, I don't know. I, I just don't know. I've ordered them from so many different places over the years. But I wear them a lot, and I especially wear them when my hair is dirty. And today, my hair is dirty. And I thought I would show you sort of how I do it, and I, I do it a lot of different ways. And here's the thing. Even if your hair is super short, now, I mean, if you have a buzz cut, obviously, I don't think you would be able to do it. But even if you have a shorter haircut and you think, oh, I could never, I could never do that with my hair, but I would like to, maybe I can show you a couple of little things that I do, even for my longer hair, that would work for your shorter hair when, when you would just like to have the look of a bun on the back of your head, either high or low for every day, or maybe you have a special event and you would like to just dress it up a little bit. So we're going to talk about hair, but I have some new hair. But before I do that, I want to show you my old hair. And for those of you who've been around, you know I have my box of hair. It's sort of what I call it, box of hair. Oops. Right off the bat, these are a couple of extensions that I have had for so many years. And these are clip-in, and I have found that I can pretty much wear these. And I'm not going to clip them in today, although I could. Let me just show you here. Um, I, I remember I ordered these either off of QVC or Home Shopping years and years ago. Maybe even, I don't know eight or nine years ago. But one of the things I like about these is they, they're they synthetic, so they just have a natural bend to them. Uh, they probably have more than one shade in them if you really look at them, but they're the sort of the general tones of the color I usually wear my hair. So when I wear these underneath, then my hair comes down over them and, and it, they just do sort of blend in, so. I'm just going to show you what I do. And for those of you with really fine hair, even short hair, uh, do you know that Joan Rivers, I saw something on her, maybe an interview years ago, where she actually wore, even though her hair was short, she wore extensions to make it look like she had a whole lot more hair. So... Now, I would pull my hair down over it. In fact, I'll go ahead and take these rollers out. I just stuck those in there with a... I just took my curling iron and rolled them. But as you can see, and probably what I would do is just maybe give it a little... And you can see, they just sort of blend in. I can wear them up higher if my hair is a little bit shorter. And I have two of them. So I would just do this one right here. And they meet in the back. In fact, they sort of overlap in the back. But that's, that's what those are. Let's get those out. And they just... They have those... Let me show you the little combs that you, and you know, that that's something that if you had, uh, your hairdresser could trim them up if you wanted to have it done professionally to match the length of your hair. Okay, now that we have a mess here, a dirty mess, let's look at old, older hair. This is one I bought probably two or three years ago. I think I got this off of Amazon. And 
I love it. I absolutely love it. But it is way wrong color-wise. And I'll show you in a minute what I can do to this. And I have done it uh, with this. And you can sort of see it. I, back a year or two ago, my hair was lighter. I had really gotten my hair out almost white with bleach and color. And I didn't wind up wearing that, but I'll show you what I did with it and was going to do with it. I was already experimenting with it, and that's why I didn't send it back. This is another one that I have had forever. And the and by the way, all of these are just on the elastic bands, like a ponytail holder. And they're curly. So that one is... I can... I can... I can make that one work. I can make all of these work, actually. This one... This is really old. I believe... Actually, I believe this one is uh, a Tony Bratton. The color, I think, is the golden blonde. The light golden blonde, I think, is what I used to wear in her colors. But they're all very similar, just, just slightly, look, just different in colors. And then I have this one. And this is relatively new. This is the one that we've been seeing recently on social media, on Facebook and on Instagram, and they're probably on TikTok. They're called Buns and, well, it's B&B &B Heaven. This is the bag it came in. I thought that this was gonna look completely different. I was shocked when it came in. I, no, the first thing I noticed that was that I had the color wrong. I wanted a color that wasn't just really blonde, solid blonde like most of these are. I wanted something with some contrast because I still have some contrast in my hair. I mean, look, look at my roots. I, I have dark roots. So I thought this would work and I sort of like these little tendrils hanging down. The pictures they showed, were it looked really cute. In the pictures, this looked like a really full, a lot of hair bun. And I loved the shape of it. It was, it looked like it had big, loose curls, which is what I was going for. This didn't bother me a whole lot. I thought, you know, if that looks cute, that looks cute. But if I don't like it, I can always pin it up and get it out of the way. I do not like this at all. Not at all. It would, I would have to pay to send it back. It wasn't that expensive to start with. So I just decided that I would keep it and I'll show you how I can think I can make this work. So I have that. The next one I have, and this is the last of the ones that I had until a week ago, but this, I'm pretty sure, is one of those Juva buns that we're seeing a lot of. And I love this. I really do. I, this is what I thought I was getting color-wise with this. And I for sure thought this would be at least this big. But again, this is, you know... I mean, you may not want all of this hair. You might prefer to have one that is not as full, but I like big hair. So, but this is the Juva bun. And you know, here's something else. I don't know if it's true with you, but it's certainly true with me. My hair it seems to be a different color every day. If it's clean, it's one color. If it's dirty, it's another color. If it's real dirty, it's still another color. It's almost like the cleaner it is, the lighter it is. That makes sense. The, the dirtier it gets, the darker it gets. The, and I'm talking about the blonde in it. So I have this. And like I say, you guys, let me put these back in my box because I don't want to get them mixed up with what I'm going to show you. Ordered these from Amazon just last week, and one of them is going back 
but I wanted to show it to you before I sent it back. And these were very, very inexpensive. They were supposed to be the very same hairpiece. They're not. I just ordered them in different colors, and they're two different hair pieces. So this one has those long tendrils like that one that I just ordered, that B&B &B thing. I, I, I could work with this. I could probably work with this. I don't know. The color in natural light with this one is, it's more of a caramel color. And I didn't like that. I just didn't like it. So that's going back. That's going back. Okay. Get that out of the way. But the one, and they were, and they were in two different bags. That one did not come in one of these bags. This is the way this one came. It came with uh, an elastic and some bobby pins. Because I will tell you with these, you do want to probably use a bobby pin to pin them. And in most cases, you probably want to use some kind of a, an elastic band ponytail holder. I do, even though I have a lot of hair. So this is the one that I thought I was ordering for both of them in just a different color, and I do like this color. So this one I'm keeping, and I will link this one. I would just say be careful. Know that with Amazon, you can send it back. I, Amazon makes it so easy to send things back. I'm going to start off with just a, an elastic ponytail holder, and If I am in a super hurry, well, y'all know what I do if I'm in a super hurry, but if I want a bun or a ponytail, I just pull my hair up into a ponytail. And Wrap that band a couple of times. Pull it, pull it tight to get it up high. I usually wear mine up high. And then we'll just start with this new one and see. And I normally wrap it twice and I don't pull my ponytail through. I just sort of leave it. Now that Hmm. I hope you can see this. Hmm. I don't like that for sure. I like the color okay. I do like the color. Let's see what happens if I just... See, I actually like more hair than that. And you can play with the curls, you know, you can just do a lot with them. And these all take, you know, I'm not gonna spray that, but these take spray really well. That looks okay. But I think my point with these is don't get hung up too much on the color because you pretty much if you get if you get somewhere in your color range, you can make it work. I have never had anybody tell me that it was off color. Oh, I don't, you know, I don't like that. It's what happened. Now, now this is so obviously wrong, but let me, let me show you what I was going to do with this one. In fact, you can see it right here. I took some light brown eyeshadow out of one of my eyeshadow palettes and 
I started just brushing this, do you see, on it. And that works. I didn't do the whole thing, but the eyeshadow will wash out, and these are so easy to wash. So one day, you know, I'm keeping this because if I do decide to go gray completely, this, as I said, I think this is that Tony Bratton one. And my hair was a more golden color, I think. See, that's pretty small. This is the Juva Bun. You can see that I'm not putting my hair in a ponytail before I do this, but let me tell you, if I were really going to wear this out or to an event of any kind, I would for sure. I don't see, look, see how these curls just lay down on my head? I don't care for that. But I do like the color of this one. And then this is the one. This is the mo by, and by the way, this one that that B and B, B and B, whatever it is, something in bun, maybe. This is the one that I've spent the most money on. Up oh, there's those. <laughs> I don't like that at all. Let's play here. What if I took the one that I don't like and let's see about this one. See, this still has the tag on it. Oh, let's see here. Huh. Okay, let's take this one that's way too light. Let's just see. Put them both. Well, this one has a much tighter band. But We'll just start off with that one. That, you know, that, because you can see my dark roots. I don't like that. I would pin that up, but because you could see my dark roots, I think that would work. Let's talk about if you have short hair, how would you make any of these work? So let me tell you what, get down in my box of clips and hair thingies, and I have a bunch of these little bitty clips and you can buy these everywhere. They're tiny. They're maybe an inch and usually I buy these at the Dollar Tree, although I've seen them at Walmart. They're on a card at the Dollar Tree. They're obviously a dollar for a card of maybe six or eight of them. They, um, they're probably a little bit more at Walmart or the drugstore. But so get you a card of those if you don't have them. I'm taking a handful because I have them already. If I were going to go out with this, I would use all the same color. <laughs> but what I would do is if, if I had shorter hair, I would take my rollers or my curling iron or whatever, and I would roll it my front the way I usually would to wear bangs if I wanted to wear bangs. I don't like to wear bangs anymore. I don't like hair in my eyes. That's why I wear my hair back most of the time. But sometimes I don't want my hair straight back on my head. So I will take, just take a strip and, and you can do this even if your hair is, um, even if your hair is short, just as long and, and do a little clip and you could even, I have this bag of bobby pins, so take some bobby pins that match your hair and just, I sort of like to twist it and give it a little poof there 
and pin it. I'm gonna use my little clippies and then just do this all around. I really don't care if I'm getting those clippies even sort of on top of themselves. Like I say, I've done this with bobby pins before. And then I would do it the rest of the way. If you can get a ponytail back here, even, even if it's only about that long, make yourself a ponytail. Get some kind of a band around it. You can make it in a little nub. And then get your... You may, you know, you may not be able to wrap it around your little nub twice or three times, but take your pins and just really, I'm securing it up close to the band that's on the hair piece. That one is coming out. I think it's okay if the little clippies show. And make sure you have a mirror so that you can sort of see what you're doing back there. I'm gonna try to And you may get by with just, you know, three or four bobby pins or, and then I'm going to give it just a little bit more. And you may need to backcomb all of this a little bit, depending on your hair. For sure, I would say to make sure it's really secure. And if you want it smaller, just take your pins and pin it up and then fluff your curls out a little bit. One flew on the floor, but I think I will do some little wispies. Probably need to get the curling iron to that. Give it a whisk. I'm, once I get the bun the way I want it, of course, I'm not looking completely in the back. I think I'll just pin that right there. I strongly suggest that you play with this. I mean, take some time and just play with it. Work it out, especially if your hair is shorter or you've never worn one. Just play with it. Sit down and if you're going to want to wear it up or maybe down low on your neck, uh, closer to your hairline here, play with it a week or so before and practice it so that on the day off when you're getting ready for your big event, you you know exactly what you're doing. Maybe you don't want to twist this. Maybe you want your bangs down. Maybe you want them to come over to the side and pull it back. Try a lot of different hairstyles, but these are so easy. Even if you have shorter hair, you can get an updo really easy with pretty much any of these buns, as long as 
they are somewhere close to your hair color or your root color in the back. I think the root color in the back is more important than this. And if you have one that's way too light, it's just too light for you, get your, get your eyeshadow out and start just a little bit at a time, a, a streak here, a streak there, and then get it, get it to a color that you like. Easy, easy, easy peasy. And you say, yes, Patty, you've been doing this many, many years. It's easy for you. Well, it can be. It can be learned. Let me put it that way. It can be learned. And also, I want to tell you, one of my best friends when it comes to hair care is a dry shampoo. This is the Dove, and this is the first time I've used this, and it's okay, but it's not my favorite. I can't remember the name of my the one that's my favorite, but I'll list it. I'll show it across the screen here. I'm out of it, and I decided to try this. I had been seeing it. It says for volume and fullness dry shampoo, and I tell you, even sometimes after I wash my hair when it's clean and it's almost like it just won't do anything because it needs just some more body, I grab my dry shampoo and I mean I go all over my head. I get my head upside down, I spray close to my scalp, and I leave it, you know, I look like the wild woman from Barneo, and I leave it, I leave it uh, until it completely dries. And then I'm amazed at how much body that gives my hair. Just try different things. Create beauty and spread kindness. Know that I love you. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.